Welcome to Sleepless News. Kevin Durant become U.S. men's basketball team's all-time top scorer after they beat Czech Republic 119-84 to advance to the quarterfinals at the Tokyo Olympics. The U.S. lost its first two exhibition games of the summer in Las Vegas, dropped its opening game at these Olympics, and had a difficult time shaking free of the Czech Republic in their group play finale. None of that matters now. The Americans are headed to the quarterfinals at the Tokyo Games with the shot of being good as gold once again. Jason Tatum scored 27 points, Kevin Durant added 23 and set a pair of USA Basketball Men's Olympic records, and the US defeated the Czechs 119-84 on Saturday to clinch a berth in the knockout stage. And Zach Levine scored 13 points, Drew Holiday had 11 and JaVale McKee finished with 10 points for the US. The Americans shot 7 for 20 in the first quarter, then made 33 of 44 shots over the next 26 minutes, including a staggering 21-4. 25 start to the second half. It's fun to watch, Holiday said, and fun to be part of. The US 2-1 finished second behind France in Group A, but will join the French, Australia, and the winner of Sunday's game between Slovenia and Spain as a top. Proceed for Tuesday's quarterfinals based on FIBA's tiebreaker system that includes point differential. Those quarterfinal matchups will be decided in a draw on Sunday night, but the U.S. has now assured itself of not having to face any of the three group winners until at least the semifinals. Blake Schilb scored 17 for the Czech Republic 1-2, which led by 10 early and was still within 60-54 midway through the third quarter. In the flash, the Czech hope of a stunner ended there. I think the first half played amazing the second half. We ran out of gas, Czech Republic coach Ronnie Ginsberg said. Durant, who passed Carmelo Anthony as both the U.S. Olympic men's all-time points and all-time field goals leader during the game, hit a three-point to end the third quarter. Capping a 22-6 run that put the Americans up by 22 going into the final quarter, the outcome was not in doubt again. Andre Balvin scored 15, Jan Vesely had 13, and Tomas Sadarinsky added 12 points for the Czechs, who were eliminated. The US, France, Australia, Spain, Slovenia, Germany, Italy, and the winner of Sunday's game between Argentina and host Japan will be playing on Tuesday, their metal hope still intact. Once in the quarters, it is winner roast time. And the quarterfinals were the round where it all went to ride for the U.S. at the last major international competition, the Basketball World Cup in China two years ago. The Americans lost to France, ending all hope of a medal, and eventually finished seventh. Here, it's all about the medal, that is, one medal, and one medal only. We don't plan on getting bronze or silver, U.S. Reserve Keldon Johnson said. This U.S. team 54-point winners over Iran and 35-point winners on Saturday hasn't looked much like that World Cup team did two years ago. Bill needed some time to find his best stride against the Czechs. The Czechs led by as many as 10 in the first quarter, shooting 65% to the Americans 35% in the opening 10 minutes. With the roster featuring just one current NBA player, Sandorinsky, they did not look the least bit intimidated by the U.S. Congratulations to the USA says Saturnansky, who revealed he's been playing in the Olympics with a groin injury that he said will need time to heal. Unfortunately, we couldn't continue with the same type of basketball after the first half. Obviously, they're the best team in the world. Durant gave the U.S. his first lead midway through the second quarter, a three-pointer putting the Americans up 34-33. The lead eventually got to as much as seven, before the U.S. settled for a 47-43 edge at halftime. And that left some in the crowd. Hundreds of people were in the lower bowl of the arena, even though no tickets were being sold. More than a bit anxious. Among them members of the German team, their hopes of qualifying as one of the top third place teams hinged on the outcome of this game. By the start of the fourth, the Germans could relax. So could the Americans, who are extremely confident heading into the quarterfinals, it said. After some time together, some adversity together, the world's number one ranked team looks like the one to catch it again. Thank you for watching. Like, share, and subscribe to Sleepless Buddy. See you next time on Sleepless News.